up guys welcome back i'm gonna be meeting with captain gary a little later today we're gonna do a half day dive for taco out on the east side and the east side taco is a little bit harder to find so i'll give, show you guys you know a few examples of what to look for when looking for taco especially on the east side west side is a different story but um i personally i struggle a little bit looking for taco on the east side um because they're a lot more camouflage i'm gonna be busting out my new ski prong today uh, i'm not sure if we're targeting any fish or if that's on the game plan at all um but check out these uh ski prongs from big island super sick super nice man can't wait to fill it in the water um eventually i want to get um you know dive in, dive in with it so this is a six foot um all black ski prong check them out i'll put their information in the description below and you can also see it right here um yeah, so give us a thumbs up for good luck, and I'll see you guys on the water. So here's an example of a taco hole on the east side. So you see all the white rocks that lead up to a hole, um, overturned rocks, broken shells. So th that hole was occupied once before, and here's another example. This one you can see a lot of sand pushed out with little shells. Um, and rocks so that's kind of what you're looking for uh, as soon as I jump off the boat I do spot one at the corner of my eye and you can see this hole has the same signs that we're kind of looking for small rocks outside the hole and shortly after found another one um, that one was kind of harder to find I think I kind of got lucky I seen it moving I'm not swimming over it uh, but a lot less obvious but you do see a little bit of white rocks there right outside the hole and then how to dispatch a taco uh, for me i like to grab it i let the leg spread out across the my arm until the eyes are exposed and then go ahead and try to bite right in between the eyes give it a good bite once it turns white taco's done takes a lot of practice guys gotta get used to the taste too um but yeah, it just takes practice if not you can just bag them like captain gary just throws them in the bag live um so yeah i picked up you know a few talk with the first spot and then the second spot I actually dropped when i seen one but there was actually two you can see the one right next to it i was gonna go for the double but i'm like ah, we're diving shallow i'll just take it easy um just go one at a time there's no no point in going for two so take out the first one same thing let it stretch out over i couldn't see the eyes so switch hands let the tacos grab my forearm to expose the eyes and then go ahead and take a bite so I couldn't get it on the spot so you know just bite them again you know, I've, been, I've been catching taco for years now so <laughs> kind of used to it biting them so you can even eat them raw fresh out the water then after i got that one um on my stringer took a drop to get the other one so around this time in taco season you will find them in pairs um because it's they're mating but you can tell like this hole itself is not really a hole it's kind of like a little shelf there was no obvious white rocks or anything like that so just comes with time in the water experience taking your time swimming around um it is definitely a lot more challenging to find taco on the east side especially in the shallows i feel like in the shallows um you know you really gotta swim over them to find them so here i'm kind of showing you where you want to bite right in between the eyes and i bite them and it doesn't seem like he's down yet there's a little white stripe in there that means i got one of the one of the brains and boom bit him once it starts turning white yeah it's pretty much done after that it means that you bit them in the brain i think they have like three brains or something like that so this taco hole very subtle you can see those white rocks right on the outside and that's all it takes sometimes is just finding that one white rock um the reason why it's white is because when the rock is on the sand 
the tacos grab the rocks and try to bury themselves but when they're grabbing the rocks and pulling it to them they're actually turning the rock over to the bottom side which is white because all the dust and algae grows on one one side the side is facing up so when it turns over it's a it's basically a clean rock uh, when you're you know trying to get taco out of the hole you don't have to force it you don't have to poke really hard you don't have to you know really dig your spear in it all i'm trying to do is wiggle it and trying to push it out of the hole steer it poke it on one side so that it leaves the other the other direction and then i, I well i try to do that is that when i'm trying to push it into the direction i want it to go so it's easier for me to grab if that makes sense you're kind of picking it out of the hole not stabbing it out of the hole um you can see the water is kind of getting darker already it was it was a real short dive only like a few hours um didn't go for any fish so didn't get a chance to you know really use my ski prong um one thing i did notice uh, right off the back is compared to my other three prongs i've had and used um this one is super light in the water i i really can't wait to test it out shooting some fried fish some coles or some ohole holes aveos because it's just so light in the water it feels super comfortable so this area actually had two tacos um two tacos in um you can it had a bunch of white scattered rocks you know across kind of a big area so i grabbed the first one took care of it and i'm on the next one and same thing this um kind of gave me a hard time because there was an opening on the back side so like i said earlier you know you kind of just you know plucking it out not you know stabbing it you can see i'm not Kind of pushing it pushing it wiggling it out into the way i want it to go so i can easily grab it and that same thing let's spread out across my arm can expose the two eyes and then go right for the bite and boom all white easy so i swam around actually went back to that same hole that i was at and then i found one out of taco inside it was like it just made a pound i was like you know what i'm gonna keep this one um for the next time we go minpachi fishing or just fishing in general at least you know they get beta try our luck show us the fruits of my labor uh oh all a good size two two three pounders Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Still kicking. Still kicking. Make sure you don't go in the water. <laughs> Taco for days, but a couple of nice ones. Yeah. <laughs> couple of nice ones. Yeah. Oh, the big boys. Yeah. Lucky luck. <laughs> Another awesome dive in the books with Captain Gary. We got about 24 pieces of taco. I picked up nine, he picked up 14. And you definitely want to check out some of his stuff, man. Um, he makes these killer gyo tacos. I got a bunch of them made from him, a lot of my first. And um, he also makes killer smoked marlin dip. And during the holidays, he makes these greeting cards um, with his fish prints on top. I use them for all occasions, man. They're super good and handy to have. Yeah, check out all his stuff um, on his Instagram and hit him up. And before I go, don't forget to check out our new Uku wetsuit. Um, Pre-orders are happening right now. Some sizes are already sold out and we're almost sold out of all the suits already, guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. Um, if you guys don't know, you might be too late, but check it out right here, right now.